This is the Global Economic Commodity Scrap Metal and Recycling Report by our Benley Roll-Up Trailers and Gondola Trailers, July 18, 2022. U.S. weekly crude steel production fell to 1.748 million tons. This was on a slowing economy and cheaper imports taking market share. The U.S. dollar index. The U.S. dollar versus other global currencies. When the U.S. dollar index goes up, commodities priced in dollars typically go down. It rose to 108.2, a new 20-year high. High U.S. interest rates are attracting foreign dollars, driving up the U.S. dollar's value. WTI crude oil price fell to 97.59 a barrel on slowing demand and tapping the U.S. oil reserves to bring down prices. Prices could still spike if all or most of Russian oil is blocked. The U.S. weekly oil rig count rose to 599, well off previous highs. Oil companies remain committed to minimal investment, keeping prices high, bringing high shareholder returns. U.S. weekly crude oil production fell to 12 million barrels per day. This is a crazy economy. Free enterprise means the U.S. government cannot force U.S. oil companies to pump more oil. So the U.S. is asking OPEC to produce more. Scrap steel number one HMS price fell to 360 a gross ton. The higher U.S. dollar is making it tough to export and past scrap exports are staying in the U.S. Related, there are increased cheaper scrap steel imports also causing lower prices here in the U.S. Hot roll coil steel price fell to 43.28 per hundredweight, 8.97 a ton. This was on slowing demand and low priced imports taking market share. Copper price fell to 3.24 a pound, down 35% since March's peak. This was as the worldwide recession f- continues to be a fear and on China's lockdowns. Aluminum price fell to $1.06 a pound, which is 23.44 a metric ton. This was on the same recession fears and lower automotive and construction activity and higher output. China June industrial production rose a mere 3.9% year over year and only 0.84% over May. But this was as COVID was becoming less of an issue. U.S. June annual inflation. It rose to 9.1%, a 41-year high as gasoline was up 59.9%. The major oil and gasoline drop in the past few weeks will slow inflation. But again, if there's a major cutback in Russian natural gas and oil, that could fuel inflation even higher. U.S. June core inflation, which excludes food and energy, it fell, yes, it fell to 5.9%, slowing for a third month in a row. The slowing economy could reduce inflation even further. U.S. June industrial production fell 0.2% from May, the second consecutive decline. Manufacturing of primary metal, machinery, and autos fell. Miscellaneous manufacturing, electrical equipment, and appliances rose. U.S. July U of M consumer sentiment rose to 51.1 off a record low. Current expectations rose and, very importantly, inflation five-year expectations fell to 2.8% from 3.1. Wall Street's Dow Jones industrial average fell 50 points to 31,288 despite a big day on Friday. Recession fears continue but strong retail sales are a positive. Safety remains number one at Benley. Too many trucks and trailers continue to hit bridges with their hoist up. Retrofit your old Galbraith, Dragon, American, Benley, and more. Buy hoist up warning strobe at Benley's website at our roll off parts store. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.